NJ Route 22.com here with another weekly supermarket roundup. Um, we're gonna start off. Here's my flyer. We're gonna start off. I don't know how exciting. It's never really exciting. Anybody that watches this might just say, "What the hell are you wasting your time for?" But I don't care. I'm doing it because I like doing it. We'll start off with Kings again. I'll say it again every week. We don't really shop here, but sometimes out of necessity here and you're at you know the last minute you need to pick something up we go there because they're relatively local um, this week they have some cheese on sale the Sargento brand I don't recommend I'm not going to explain why but there was some issue controversy they had recently and there was some bad stuff in their cheese but it's five bucks for two packs it's still more expensive on sale buy one get one free it's still more expensive than ShopRite cheeses which are fine for us for they're usually a dollar 77 or a dollar 99 a pound um, and these organic strawberries, these are two packs for eight bucks. ShopRite this week had them for $1.99 for the exact same, uh, that's half the cost. So that, that's, you can see why we don't really go to, to ShopRite, I mean to Kings. And one thing they have on sale, starting on uh, whatever, it should be on sale. They didn't even put the dates. Uh, yeah, th this is on sale now, Friday, uh, August 17th. They got Oscar Mayer bacon, two for seven. That that's a good price. That's uh, three fifty a pack. If we're there and we're low on bacon, we'll buy them. And I want to say that uh, this type of stuff here, K cups and Starbucks frappuccino, they're so loaded with sugar, and K cups are just so expensive. It, it's just it's a silly model of convenience they've sold. Like you pay more just for the added convenience of of. Uh, <clears throat> these K cups. I don't like them. I, I'd say no. And that's it for King. And IGA, I told you, we shop here because they're a local, truly local supermarket owned by local people, not a big giant corporation, even though IGA is a pretty large food co-op. Um, 4,000 stores, I think. Just two in New Jersey, uh, or one in, in, in this area, one in uh, White House, another one in Pennington. I didn't see anything particularly uh, outstanding, but there were a couple things I wanted to talk about. Um, this, they, they tout that they have printable coupons on their website. If you could find them, let me know. They're not there. I clicked the coupon button and it came up with a blank page. So that's kind of a, a big misleading thing there. They should fix that. And this is something I, I you really ought to be concerned with. They take something like yogurt, these Chiabani yogurts, and they, they call them flips now. It's this big, this, this little gimmick. But they throw junky junk in it. Pretzels and candy. You might as well just eat a candy bar if, if you're gonna, and save money if you're just gonna be unhealthy like that. And um, there was nothing much else. Oh yeah, they had some good deals on, on organic at, uh, at Bishop's IGA. They had a pretty good deal on organic grape tomatoes, cantaloupe, and grapes. Um, all organic and those are pretty good prices. So. Keep that in mind if you go to Bishop's. And I saw this in the flyer. Yeah, anybody ever go to Great Clips? I went once. I got like a really kind of like half-assed haircut. Um, but I guess it depends on the individual hair cutter. So, but they have a always have a good deal. These seven ninety nine haircuts. And if you're struggling, it might not be a bad idea to to use that and just get a quick haircut for seven ninety nine. And a reminder: there's two days left uh, for the summer coupon event at Shoprite. And the the good deals they have this week are um, well. This coupon is kind of lame because it's it goes on sale again next week for this price anyway. But the the Hebrew National for a buck eighty eight and the fried chicken for five forty nine, those were uh, things we were going to use. But I keep forgetting to bring my coupons to the store. And lastly, our our king of the supermarkets here in Central Jersey Route twenty two area is Shoprite, and let's see what they have this week. Um, on sale again. I mean, how many people? Are, why haven't everybody woken up to the soda? It's just you should never drink soda ever under any circumstances. Just water. Drink water. Um, but it's just amazing how they keep people uh, on that stuff. And you'll notice this week I, when I flip through this uh, flyer that I x out areas. Like this, this entire area is x out. We don't. I don't eat baked goods. Everybody does, but me, it seems, or any other healthy people. I just don't do it. It's just not, there's no benefit. It's a short term palate pleasure to, for long term medical issues. 
and, and pain. I, I, just, uh, I just don't do it. it. It takes a long time to wake up to that, to that lifestyle. But there was something I wanted to point out here, and there's this fruity guy, the Coca-Cola kitchen. You know, they're, they're, no. No, 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 no. I don't care what he cooks. And here, this is this is another section I X'd out. It's just all these beverages, rock star energy drink, Mountain Dew Kickstart. It's nothing but sugar, 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 sugar. It's disgusting. I mean, about the only thing that's, that's okay are these uh, sparkling waters. But God knows you gotta watch the ingredients because they also sneak in some chemicals to poison you. Here's a good deal. When they have it on sale, the, the wholesome pantry baked beans, they sometimes have it on sale for less, for 88 cents. So if you want to stock your uh, doomsday uh, prep uh, cupboard, you can do that. Those are good beans. And what else do we got here? Oh, this is something I, I, I found fascinating. The brand names now, they try to convince you. This is called Junkless Chewy Granola Bars. And if you look at it, it's peanut butter chocolate chip. What about that is junkless? I mean, yeah, maybe they're using organic chick uh, sugar or whatever, but it, it don't let the, the feel-good name of the brand trick you into buying it. It's not junkless. It's junk. It's so disgusting. Good deal, I guess, this week on the Method Cleaners. Three for uh, the $2, $2 a pop. You got to buy three, though, or they ring up higher um, if you're running low on soap. But we make our own foaming soap. You just one part uh, Dr. Bronner's unscented baby soap and four or five parts water in, in the used uh, pump, and then you have your own foaming soap. You can add a drop of essential oil, like tea tree or lemongrass, and you can have a scented, natural foaming soap for like 20 cents. And it works just as good. Uh, that's it, and there's some pharmacy stuff here. There was nothing on the back that I found. See, like, like I said, it's a boring, uh, a boring roundup. I'm trying to promote healthy things, and it's hard. It's hard when, when companies like this have nothing but just junk and processed. But, oh, I forgot one thing. This I'm going to try this in my slow cooker, maybe. Whole pork shoulder picnic. 99 cents a pound. Just throw it in a slow cooker for eight hours in the morning, and then when you get home, you have some pulled pork you could eat. That's, that's, that's a good deal there. And that's it. I hope uh, other people are, are waking up and, and eating healthy and avoiding the, the hazards that you find all the time. And maybe one day I'll figure out a way to, to avoid the nitrates in bacon. I, I, I've read conflicting reports about the bacon and it's, it's not really a big deal and it's naturally occurring. Same thing with wine, the nitrites in uh, wine, apparently it's just natural. So that's it, have a good weekend and hopefully you uh, can save some money and eat healthy.